the chimes are going. Life is sex. Sex is life. But if we are only alive in our sex, then we're already dead. By contrast, being fully alive in the sexual models for us what it means to be radically alive in every facet of life. The experience of being radically alive is called Eros. To be fully alive in every dimension of your life is what it means to live an erotic life. It is this voice of authentic yearning that is our most reliable spiritual guide. To be radically alive in every part of our life is what it means to live in Eros. For me, Eros uh, was deeply activated in 2023 and the pulsation of she, the allurement of the cosmos, outrageous love in energy form that's primal and creative and alive. This is Eros and it seems difficult to me to tap into this creative, impulsive, intuitive, divine flow of being when we have trauma. We have ancestral trauma, we have sexual trauma, we have trauma from our lives. When we hold on to suffering instead of transmuting it to being our biggest learnings. Be radically alive is to remember that we are in a love story with God. She, this creative divine energy of source, the, the yin and yang of the God and the goddess, the black and the white, the cherubs, the secret between the cherubs, the voice of God. When you experience God as an experience, not an idea, not a thought, not from the mind layer, but from being, being and feeling, feeling your beloved, making love, orgasming, losing yourselves and feeling the third energy, which is God, Horus. There's many names. The experience of God. It is time as we ascend to experience God as an embodied experience. It's my favorite practice. It awakens me to love the most. I love taking care of the temple. I love massaging my body. I love myself. I love my worship and devotion to my body and my temple and the aspect of me that is God, that is in form. And the surrendering to the unfoldment of the beauty of this ascension, of the love story. We are losing that. No more. You have choice. You are free to choose what you believe. And honestly, to choose how stressed you are. You are that much of a god, goddess, creatrix, creator of your life. And to choose anxiety and stress is contracting. And you're welcome to do it. And it closes off the energy. I know, because I have lots of anxiety. <laughs> it's been very interesting as I've integrated the last year and a half so much, integrated so much. And noticing, like right now, my heart rate is fine. <laughs> and sometimes I get anxious, I get nervous, 
I can feel my heart start to speed up and my blood starts to feel hot and it's pulsing through me and it's very uncomfortable and I feel contracted or restricted. And until I open up my perspective to all of time and space, I'll stay in that um, anxious mode. And it's like a contraction where there's like energy. I love Eros because it's primal. Being an animal is fun. Being alive is part of being. I don't understand screens. I have difficulty with screens. I like making faces in them. <laughs> My desire is love and service. And I know it has to do with arrows, and I know it has to do with connecting with God and remembering that you can create your reality. I feel very ancient and witchy, and I love that there's so many priestesses everywhere. <laughs> yes! And it's not a female woman power yes, it's like a collaborative yes. Like, a poor patriarchy has suffered without the wisdom and guidance, the intuitive knowing of the feminine. Oh, look at all of this horrible death and torture and slavery and colonization. Oh my goodness, if there were some women in power, these things, I don't know. I don't know if they would have been those things. The union of the male and the female in partnership, in leadership, in energies, it's the duality that creates the whole. So beautiful. And that whole is the experience of God, right? And so when you bring your feminine and your masculine together into balance within you, you experience the whole. I love being masculine. I love holding myself. I don't need anyone to hold me. Like, that's so badass. And I love being feminine. I love bleeding. Oh, I love ovulation. I love the energy. I love feeling so horny. Oh my God. Like, just fuck me. Oh, yes. It makes me feel alive. Eros. And those are my thoughts right now. I don't have anything else. Mm-hmm. <laughs>